morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and welcome to Global Atheist News Roundup, dateline the 15th of April 2023. This week's headlines. Israel blames Hamas for the Lebanon rocket barrage as tensions rise. Three British Israeli women were killed in a West Bank shooting. The Tel Aviv car ramming killed an Italian tourist and injures seven. Some young men in Mexico are risking their lives to become Catholic priests. A Texas mom testifies in support of mandating the Ten Commandments in all classrooms. An atheist sues the Wyoming city for $24 million over its religious invocations. And the Dalai Lama regrets asking a boy to suck my tongue. The Israeli military has accused the Palestinian militant group Hamas of firing dozens of rockets from southern Lebanon into northern Israel. It said most of the 34 rockets were intercepted, but that five hit Israeli territory, causing damage to buildings. One man was lightly wounded by shrapnel. Hamas said it had no information about who fired the missiles, and the attack was the biggest single barrage from Lebanon in 17 years. It comes at a time of rising tensions. There's been outrage in the region at the actions of the Israeli police who raided the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, Islam's third holiest site, for the past two nights, triggering violent confrontations with Palestinians inside. Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip, which is controlled by Hamas, have also fired 25 rockets at Israel over the same period, and the Israeli military has carried out airstrikes there in response. Two British Israeli sisters were killed and their mother died later in hospital in a shooting in the occupied West Bank. They were in a car that crashed after being shot at near the Hamra Junction in the north of the Jordan Valley. The mayor of the settlement of Efrat said the sisters, who were in their 20s, and their 48-year-old mother lived there with their rabbi father and were immigrants from the UK. The UK Foreign Office said it was saddened by the news. We are saddened to hear about the deaths of two British Israeli citizens and the serious injuries sustained by a third individual who has subsequently died. The Israeli military said its forces were blocking roads in the area and had started a pursuit of the terrorists. The shooting took place hours after Israeli warplanes carried out airstrikes in southern Lebanon and the Gaza Strip. An Italian tourist has been killed and seven, seven other people injured in a suspected car ramming attack near a beach in Tel Aviv, Israeli medics say. Italy's foreign minister said Israel had identified the man killed as an Italian citizen, Alessandro Parini, 36. A doctor told Israeli television the wounded included three British nationals and one other Italian. Footage from the scene showed an overturned car near a promenade and an Israeli police officer opening fire. Local police said the suspected attacker was shot dead by officers. Police have named him as Yusef Abu Jabba from Kafir Kazim, an Israeli Arab city. When Miguel Pantaleon was ordained into the Catholic Church last month. It was the biggest day of his young life. The 20-year-old trainee priest had spent almost a decade 
working towards joining the clergy. At a packed mass in his dusty village of Rincon del Carmen in western Mexico, he was officially brought into the priesthood by the diocese bishop. Watching in the front pew, his mother, Petra Florencio, beamed with pride. Miguel is the 11th of 13 children, and his vocation is a source of great prestige for his family. However, Petra would also be forgiven for harbouring a few doubts, because Miguel has joined the riskiest priesthood in the world. More than 50 priests have been killed in Mexico since 2006, nine of them under the current administration alone. Some were killed for speaking out against cartel violence. Others were caught up in the crossfire of an unending conflict between rival criminal organizations. A Texas mum says, I homeschool because I see what's happening in the public schools, but it is my desire to see order and morality restored. We must restore a biblical standard to our education system. See this video. The Ten Commandments are not only a sacred text in the Jewish and Christian faiths, but they're also essential to direct secular issues or more secular issues of just honoring one's parents, uh, not murdering, not committing adultery, not stealing, not bearing false witness, or not being covetous. Uh, as a mom of seven, um, I, I homeschool because I see what's happening in the public schools, but it's my desire to see um, order and morality restored to the classrooms. So that is, it will again be a place where people can feel safe sending their children. We must res restore a biblical standard to our educational system. Thank you. An atheist in Wyoming is suing the city of Gillette for $24,250,000, claiming they suppressed his religious beliefs by letting Christians deliver just about all the invocations at city council meetings. Bruce B. Williams says that the city council has about 24 meetings per year, and since roughly a quarter of Wyoming citizens are unaffiliated with religion, there ought to be a proportional number of secular invocations. He wants to deliver at least two, but possibly five or six if no other non-theists step up. In 2017 and 2018, he gave two invocations, but since then he's been limited to one a year. Williams says the city has rejected his request to deliver additional invocations while giving Christians, specifically a select group of them, just about all the opportunities to deliver the rest. The city refused my request for multiple invocations, said Williams in his lawsuit, adding that city leaders wouldn't tell him what group was controlling those that were giving the invocations. Ultimately, Williams learned that an unincorporated Christian group conducted many invocations. He said the city has been creating a mockery of my atheist beliefs through its deliberate preference for Christianity and by either prohibiting or limiting his worship as an atheist. The Dalai Lama has apologised after footage showed him telling a boy to suck the Tibetan spiritual leader's tongue. His office said he wanted to apologise to the child and his family for the hurt that his words may have caused. The video also shows the Dalai Lama kissing the child on his lips. His holiness often teases people he meets in an innocent and playful way, even in public and before cameras. He regrets the incident, his office said. The footage has sparked widespread criticism, with many social media users saying it was inappropriate and disturbing.
see this video. Finally, here also. <laughs> And so, my tongue. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This week's Free Thought Hour guest has had to postpone for medical reasons. Instead, we're going to screen an interview I had with an American Christian student. The backstory goes to November 2014, when I met Christian Jonathan McClatchy on Premier Christian Radio. Host Justin Brearley had pitted us against each other for his Saturday live show. Jonathan was studying for a Master's in Biochemistry at the time, and since then he has obtained a PhD and currently lectures at a Christian university called Sattler College, which was recently set up near Boston. One of his students apparently expressed a wish to meet an alternative worldview, and Jonathan directed him to me. The student wishes to remain anonymous, so he is being played by actor D.P. Higgs. Tercia will host, and I will produce the show. Stay on this channel to find out what this is all about. And don't forget to watch Views on the News, our panel show about this very news. This has been Global Atheist News. The GAN team will be back next week. Thank you for watching.